What the fuck? <laughs> I'm Max, and we're here at Seal Beach Pier. Um, great day today. I'm going to be attempting the FKT, which is the fastest known time for the Orange County peer-to-peer -peer route. It starts here in Seal Beach, the northernmost city in Orange County, and we're gonna be running 38 miles south, down PCH, and finishing at the San Clemente Pier, which is the southernmost city in Orange County. Um, the current record is about 5 hours and 14 minutes, so shooting for hopefully just under 5 hours if all goes well. And um, yeah, I'm going to walk you guys through the gear that I'm going to be using and uh, I'm going to take off here in a few minutes, so let's do it. Alright, so this is the gear that I'm going to be using. Starting off, we're in the Satisfy Space Out shorts. These are my go-to, go-to shorts oh, check, out, check, check out my nipple tape got it you got to protect the nipples chafing is a uh, can be a mother effort sometimes uh, so we're wearing a swiss uh, singlet uh, running. super breathable uh, i chopped it nice and cropped and then trail band it's like one of my favorite items from Satisfy. I'm going to be carrying all my all my stuff in here. So this just goes right here on her waist. There we go. That's good. So there's the there's the base of the kit. Uh, hat. It's a Ribby Trail hat from Saddles. Uh, race in Arizona. That was last October. rock the heart rate monitor just because I got, I got too many tattoos. <laughs> the wrist heart rate sensor on the watch just doesn't really work if you got tattoos. So we wear the chest strap because it's a little bit more accurate. Um, not the most comfortable in the world, but it's better just knowing. All right. Uh, earlier we lubed up, used some squirrels nut butter mixed with a little bit of Hume all body deodorant just to smell a little bit better than whatever the hell this smells like. Uh, and then sunglasses. We are wearing the District Vision Kaharu, I think these are called. Um, it's a Satisfy collab. Uh, these are my fades, so I'm trying to go fast. We're just gonna crack this open, take a quick little sip. The galaxy vibe. And then I'm gonna quickly go over fuel. Uh, I'm bringing four elements. I'm gonna try to hit one of these per hour. Uh, so we're gonna put these right here in this little, this little pocket. Easy access. So there we go. Uh, headphones I have in my ears. Um, I'm bringing four you can edge gel, strawberry banana. Um, we're gonna try to hit one of these per hour as well. So, these go in this pocket. So that's going to be our nutrition. We got our electrolytes. These are the handhelds that I'm going to be holding on to. Uh, Hydropack insulated. I think these are called the Sky Flask ITs. I got this new thumb loop, which is way more comfortable than the previous version of these. I got one of these filled with an element already, and the other one is just uh, regular water. So that's kind of the mix that I'm going to be doing throughout the day today. Just one with electrolytes and one with normal water. Um, not sure how much water I'm going to drink, but 
I'm gonna try to shoot for about a liter per hour or so. Um, next, carrying the GoPro to film some of this for you guys to follow along. So I've got the GoPro, put that in this little back, back pocket joint. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, shoes. <laughs> Almost forgot my <laughs> shoes. Definitely not running in these. Um, but yeah. Um, saving these for a special occasion. Um, we are rocking the Alpha Fly 3 prototypes. Um, so yeah, I mean, these are literally pretty new. Probably not the smartest idea to uh, wear a fresh pair of shoes the first time you're gonna run like a race, but we're just gonna go for it over here. Uh, oh, it feels nice. Uh, Must be light, comfortable, and it's got to go the distance. Bill Bowerman. Well, you know what, Bill Bowerman? I think three things shoe must be is one, able to kickflip, first of all. Uh, two, looks cool. That's important. And uh, the third thing is they probably shouldn't make your toes bleed. So that's, uh, that's just what I think. Whatever. It's 11.30 is the start, so here we go, three, two, one. Hi. Are you guys, we just took off. Heading down the main street in Seal Beach, about to hit PCH and let her rip. So here we go. All right, so we're just leaving Seal Beach, heading into Sunset Beach. And we're not even five minutes into this run. We already had an altercation with a car. Cut this uh, this bicyclist off and then almost hit me making a right turn. And then proceeded to follow me. It's just, it's dumb. So we're not off to the greatest start, but uh, hopefully things will get a little bit better from here on out. All right. Just for the record, I really don't like road running because of cars. It's just sketchy, but we're about to be turning off PCH and getting on the boardwalk, so should be a little bit better. All right, guys, we're about four miles in. Just getting through Sunset Beach and entering Huntington here at Bolsa Chica. All right, we're through Bolsa. We're at Huntington Beach Cliffs. I'm a little ambitious with my splits right now, averaging like 630s. Um, but I know we're gonna hit some hills later on in the run, so kind of just trying to get out ahead of it a little bit. Um, but yeah. Okay guys, just ran under Huntington Beach Pier, making good time. All right guys, we are officially one hour in, 9.39 miles. We finished a one flask of my electrolytes and I'm gonna hit a, hit a gel right now. So, hour in, 10 miles, 
it's uh it's record pace. Gel. River, leaving Huntington and entering Newport Beach. So one reason why this route is so special to me is it runs here through Newport, my hometown. Um, so it's just pretty cool to have a cool record, you know, in your hometown. All right, just refilled our bottles, took a quick pee and we're back on pch still quite a bit ahead of record pace our average pace right now is about 6 30 half marathon in and uh yeah just cruising that's another thing i didn't really anticipate is red lights we gotta stop it takes away from our time uh, we're gonna, we're gonna jaywalk here. I don't recommend doing that, but we're racing. All right, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. All right, we need to cross here. Got a motorcycle. All right, we're crossing. See that big brown building up there? Togo Hospital, it's where I was born. Talk about local legend status. Come on. All right, everybody. We are crossing the bridge over the back bay, about to enter Corona Del Mar. 15 and a half miles in. Feeling good. Okay, we're in Corona Del Mar, almost two hours in, mile 17, just hit my second gel, and trying to stay on the sidewalk as much as possible. Not ideal, but I'd rather not get hit by a car. Okay guys, we are entering Crystal Cove State Beach, we are currently at mile 19 feeling good I need to fill up water soon so we'll probably hit that in a couple minutes and see you in a little bit and really is beautiful here scenic part of the run, El Moro. Just past El Moro, kind of getting to the challenging part of the run. We're at mile 22 for the next 15 miles, we got some rolling hills. There we entering Laguna. All right, let's go. All right, we're almost through Laguna. We just hit our marathon split, 2.52. So we're making good time. Starting to feel it. We got 12 more miles to go. Some hills, but uh, we're way ahead of schedule. So we're looking good. All this construction right here is not ideal. And I could run on the road right here, but pretty sketchy. Uh, 
so I just need to be careful, take my time here. And I think we're gonna try to hit a least so, refill some water, maybe go pee, which is right up here. So we're about three miles in, three hours in, I'm sorry. And uh, we've got about 10 more miles to go. Aliso Creek. Uh, I don't know where the bathrooms are here. We'll find them. It's mile, almost mile 30. We just entered Dana Point. We just got to get through Dana. And then we'll be into San Clemente. And then we'll be done. So, nine miles left. We're pushing it. We're going to try to finish strong. Whew. All right, we just hit the 50K mark. Our split is 329, so sub 330, 50K. That's good. Oh, thank God for this drinking fountain. I'm starting to get a little desperate for water. Um, I think that'll be the last spot we need water. I'm all filled up, um, almost through Dana Point, so this is just the home stretch. Dana Point Harbor. Okay, we are passing through Capo Beach. We're a mile, almost 35. So we got three more miles to go and we're done. I can see the pier. We're within sight. All right, the train tracks are closed because of a landslide on the hill right here. So got to run on the beach for a little bit. I don't mind it, but it's not exactly the route. All right, almost there. San Clemente Pier. Let's finish this thing. Here we are at the finish. Oh my God. I won't believe this. Four hours. 20 minutes. <laughs> Guess what my time was? 4.20. Uh, uh. All right, so we're here at the finish. San Clemente Pier just ran 38 miles. Uh, it took me a total of four hours, 20 minutes. Nice. Uh, in 58 seconds. I think my average pace was 6.47. Um, and that's the unofficial, uh, unsupported FKT for the Orange County peer-to-peer. -peer. I believe I beat the previous supported record by 55 minutes. So, um, I think this is Orange County's premier road ultra FKT route. And, um, I recommend it to anyone. You see all the beach cities everywhere from... Seal Beach, Huntington, Newport, uh, Laguna, San Clemente, Dana Point. You go through all of them, beautiful scenery, uh, and it was just cool to run through my hometown and uh, get the record. So, uh, Also, notable mentions is going into this, I ran 100 miles uh, this week, kind of in preparation for a 100 mile race I got next month, so I wouldn't recommend uh, doing this on such high volume, but um, it's kind of just what I'm what I'm trying to do right now. And um, yeah, I had one more thing that I was gonna say, but I probably forgot. Um, day 670 or no 877 of the Run Street as well. So um, that's it for today, and see you guys tomorrow.